Let's assume you are given a few patches from image and your task is to find the location of these patches in the original image. Pause the video here and try to find the location of patches 1 to 6. The first two patches are difficult to find as they don't convey any information to us. You will find the third and fourth patches little easy to find as they convey that they are edges. But finding the exact place is still difficult because edges are everywhere in the image. You should find the location of fifth and sixth patch in no time because they are corners. They can't be everywhere in the image. Hence, these are considered as good features to track. Feature detectors will look for such features given an image. But how does a program do it? Let's first talk about edges. In the direction along the yellow line, the intensity is not changing much. Now follow the red line. You should notice a change in intensity. For edges, intensity changes only in one direction. Now let's look for corners. You can see the change in intensity in multiple directions. These points are treated as corners. For flat regions, there will be no change in intensity in any direction. Now let's see how to represent this idea in maths. i of x, y gives the intensity of the pixel located at x, y. i of x plus u, y plus v gives the intensity of pixel which is located at u and v pixels away from x and y. We are looking for areas where this difference is maximum, which happens near edges and corners. Here, we are expanding it using the first order Tyler series approximation, cancelling out the common terms and expanding the square, then representing it in matrix form. Now let's see our first feature detector, the Harris corner detector. It works by computing the value R using the matrix M that we computed earlier. The product of eigenvalues of matrix M gives us the determinant. The trace of the matrix equals to the sum of eigenvalues of matrix M. Now, depending on the value of R, edges and corners are identified. The value of R is less than 0 for edges. It is a large value for corners. Let's implement the Harris corner detector on our image and see the result. These are the features identified by the Harris corner method. Now, let's look at another method called she tom -Chi method which is very similar to our first method, but R is calculated as the minimum of eigenvalues of M. Let's implement the she tom -Chi method on our image and see the result. Before we start with our final feature detector, let's zoom into the image. Fast feature detector. It identifies the features by comparing pixel values with its 16 neighbors. The pixel P is a corner. If there exists a set of N pixels, in the circle which are all brighter than ip plus t or all darker than ip minus t. The value of t can be passed by the user as an input parameter to the algorithm. The most promising advantage of using fast corner detector is its computational efficiency. We saw Harris corner and Shri Thomsi detectors earlier in the video. They are really good, but they are not fast enough. Therefore, we tend to use fast feature detector in real-time applications because of its high speed performance.